Hey guys, in this episode on the group chat revised series, we're gonna be building a mentions uh, channel so that we can have notifications pop up whenever someone mentions you in a channel. So it's gonna be pretty straightforward. Let's dive in. First things first is we want a message like this to be able to pull out multiple mentions and we're gonna set it up so that we're using regex to actually pull out the usernames. This is gonna be important. You're gonna to wanna to have single word usernames so that uh, you can use spaces or periods or other things to separate them out. Um, if you had, you know, at Chris Oliver here, it's hard to know how many words to include in the username. So unless you're doing some sort of rich text mention here, it's much easier to do a single word. So the format for this is pretty simple. In regex, we wanna capture using the parentheses, a at symbol and a word and multiple characters, at least one of word characters and then a parentheses. Um, we'll close off our capture group. So here you'll see we captured the at symbol and the name and we did that in both of these. The other thing we can do here is we don't really care about the at symbol as much, it's just to denote a mention. So we can actually move the at symbol outside of the regex to just make it capture the text that we wanna look up. So we're gonna look up users by this text. And if you are not familiar with this, rubular.com is amazing for testing out your regexes. And um, the slash W is any word character, a letter, a number, or an underscore. Now you might want to include hyphens or something like that. So if you wanted to support that in your username, you can do something like this. So a word character or a hyphen and at least one of those or more. So that will handle um, those cases. So this regex works and we want to go and test this out in Rails to make sure that we can have this work correctly. So if we say exit three at Bob, hey, we can do a match here. Um, and there's multiple ways of doing this. You can say match and pass that in and you're gonna get the first match out of this. Now match is going to match the string and give you your captures, but we don't know how many of those uh, mentions might be in the one message. So instead of using match, we want to use the scan here, and this is gonna give us an array of those um, captures. So if we had multiple captures for each of these, that would be nested arrays with multiple items in them. Um, because we only have a single one, we can just call dot flatten on here to grab the usernames out of there in a single flat array. So that's gonna help us look up the user